I put together a dummy load and for this dummy load I used some 100 watt 8 ohm power resistors and just out of curiosity I decided to measure the impedance uh, of one of these resistors which like I said has an 8 ohm value I wanted to measure the impedance over the audio frequency range now the resistance is of course measured in ohms and it stays the same no matter what the frequency but with the impedance the impedance now it's also measured in ohms and that changes with frequency you measure the impedance with uh, you can't measure it with an ohmmeter you, but you can do it like with an AC voltmeter and an AC ammeter. The impedance is equal to the AC volts divided by the AC amperes. Now I'm going to check the impedance of this uh, power resistor here from 20 hertz all the way up to 10,000 hertz and I'll see what happens. Here's my actual physical setup. You can see it's just a mumbo jumbo of uh, different wires. I have a digital multimeter here, a leader audio generator, and an old uh, FET VOM. And of course the test leads and the um, power resistor. Here's a little primitive sketch that I made. You need four things, the audio generator, the multimeter, which is going to measure current, so you're measuring the AC amperes. You're going to need your resistor here, and then you're going to need your multimeter to measure the AC volts. Now I got the um, the the AC ampere meter right here, of course, because the current has to flow through it in order for me to get any kind of results, which it doesn't have to do like with the with the voltmeter. This is a 20 hertz test. I have that looks like. 50 millivolts of AC there and for the current looks like I have I looks like it's about 4.5 milliampere here's a little scratch sheet I'm using the formula I'm going to use is Z which is impedance equals E over I. E of course being the AC voltage and I being the AC amperes. And here's what I got for 20 Hertz. 20 Hertz as you can see I got uh, was 0 0.0045 amperes which is which was 4.5 milliamperes and for voltage I got 0 0.05 which is 50 millivolts and after I plugged it all in, it came out to 11.11 .11 or 11 ohms. Now I'm going to go ahead and try the 60 hertz. I have my audio generator set up to 60 hertz now. And the multimeter here is showing a voltage of 0 0.048, it looks like, which is 48 milliamperes. Looks like it's swinging back and forth a little bit. So I'm going to leave it at 0 0.048 volts. And the, the AC ammeter here is showing about, looks like 4.6 milliamperes. Back to the math at 60 hertz. I did the equation again. And it came out to 10.43, or for practical purposes, 10 ohms, using 
that formula again right there that you see. Now I'm going to go ahead and take it up even more and try a thousand hertz. The the audio generator is now putting out a thousand hertz and as far as voltage is concerned it looks like it's 0 0.047 which is 47 millivolts AC looks like that's going down a little bit and the the current is looks like two four six four point eight milliamperes which is zero point zero zero four eight amperes For 1000 Hertz, I got exactly 10 ohms. You remember at the 60 Hertz, I got 10.43 ohms. Well, I said for practical purposes, 10 ohms. But evidently, the impedance is going down the higher the frequency. Now I'm going to try 5000 Hertz. So my audio generator is now putting out 5000 Hertz. And as far as voltage is concerned, I see it looks like I have 33 millivolts or 0 0.033 AC volts. And as far as the AC amperage is concerned, it looks like it's 4.9 milliamperes or 0. 0.0049 amperes. Looks like that went up. Here's the math I did on my scratch sheet for 5000 Hertz. I changed around here the voltage and, and the uh, amperes. I just wrote this here on top first, the voltage first and the amperes second and then the Ohm third, which is probably what I should have did in the first place. But here's what I got. I got as far as voltage is concerned, I got 0 0.033 volts AC. And as far as my current is concerned, I got 0 0.0049, which is 4.9 milliamperes. All total, the impedance went down to 6.73 ohms looks like the higher I'm going the lower the impedance is going to I'm gonna go ahead and try 10,000 Hertz now here's my math for 10,000 Hertz it came out to 0 0.018 volts AC and the current is 0 0.0049 Amperes after doing the math using my formula Z equals E or I it came out to 3.67 ohms at 10,000 Hertz